let's go ahead and start in Shavasana. Bring our legs out in front of us. Slowly rolling down. Just bringing the hands down by the sides. And just begin to connect to the body here. Connect to the breath. We're just taking a few moments to notice where your breath is at right now. Just take a few moments to notice it without really feeling like you need to change it. And we just begin to connect to the body. Coming into the room, coming onto our mats. Beginning to let go of the day, let go of the past week. I'm just taking a moment to notice if there is anything you're carrying or holding on to right now. Just see if you can let it go or set it aside. Knowing that you can always come back to it later if you like. We'll take three deep cleansing breaths together, breathing in through the nose, filling the belly up. Some the expansion through the lungs, and exhale, sigh out. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, sigh out. One more deep inhale. And exhale, sigh it out, releasing any tension in the body. Let's begin to take notice of how our body is feeling right now. Bringing our awareness to the full left side of the body, all the way down from the feet, up through the legs, the hips, the arms, the whole left side body. Just taking a moment to notice if there's any tension we're carrying here. We take a moment to notice the energy flowing through the body. Listen if it's fast, slow. Tired, anxious. At ease. Wherever it's at right now, just observe it without any judgment. You see, with each inhale, you can bring a little bit more balance. And with each exhale, releasing and relaxing a little bit more. Take a deep inhale and exhale, feeling the left side body relax. From here, we bring our awareness to the entire right side body, all the way down from the tip of the toes up through the ankles and the legs. Through the hips, through the ribs, through the chest, down alongside the arms. So take a deep inhale. Again, noticing the energy on the right side. Noticing if it's the same or different from the left. 
I'm just observing. Seeing if you can notice the flow. Can you notice any sensations? Any cooling or warmth? Can you even a tingling sensation? Using the breath to breathe in balance and relaxation. Exhaling, releasing any tension. Feeling the body soften on the right side. And then we take a moment to notice the body as a whole. Noticing if it feels balanced. Noticing the energy flowing. As we take a deep inhale. Deep exhale, feeling the body rest. Feeling the body release and let go. Maybe setting an intention for our practice here. Whether it's something you're trying to bring into your life. Something emotional, something physical, even spiritual. And it's simply more balance, more peace. More love. Maybe it's deeper relaxation, deeper flexibility. Or perhaps healing, either physically or emotionally. Whatever it is, we can bring that intention into the mind's eye as we begin to visualize the best possible outcome for this intention. Visualizing as many details, what it'll look like, what it'll feel like, and we ultimately achieve this goal when we receive this feeling. As we take three deep cleansing breaths, sending the energy into this intention. Taking a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, side out through the mouth. Deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, sigh it out. And deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, sigh it out. Again, just taking a moment to notice how your body's feeling right now. And when you're ready, we'll draw that right knee in towards the chest, keeping the left knee extended out long. Here, we'll take a couple of ankle circles with the right foot. Painting a circle with the toes. A few times clockwise, a few times counterclockwise. Feeling that opening 
through the ankle, through the shin, the calf, maybe filling it all the way up into the hip. And when you're ready, draw that right knee over towards the left, guiding it with the left hand. Here, if you'd like, you can place any props that you have, if you block a pillow or bolster underneath the right knee. So we extend that right arm out long. Maybe bring our eye gaze to follow the right arm. And then begin to soften the body into the pose. Releasing any tension. You notice if you feel clenching or holding any muscles and see if you can release and let go. Allowing that right shoulder to come down a little bit closer towards the ground. Feeling the spine begin to open up the legs. And if you can continue to take deep breaths, feeling the expansion through the right side of the body. We'll take deep cleansing breaths here, breathing in through the nose. Exhale, sigh it out. Deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, sigh it out. One more deep inhale. And on the exhale, draw the knee back into the chest, untwisting. From here, we'll draw that left knee to meet the right. And just take a couple of rocks left and right, keeping that low back pressed into the ground to give yourself a little bit of a low back massage. Filling that low back, the low spine release. Taking slow, mindful movements here. And when you're ready, we'll extend that right leg up and allow it to come down towards the mat. This time, drawing that left knee into the chest, keeping a couple of ankle circles left and right here. Moving mindfully and slowly. Feeling the stretch and the release through the ankle, and through the calves and the shin. And when you're ready, guide our left foot, our left leg over towards the right side. Again, if you'd like, you can bring your knee on top of a prop, whether it's a block, a bolster, a pillow, or a blanket. And then extend that left arm out wide. Perhaps bring that eye gaze over towards the left. Finding a nice cervical spine twist as well. And just begin to notice the spine opening up. the spine twist and see if you can release and relax a little bit more 
Noticing if you're clenching or holding any muscles. See if you can completely surrender to the pose. Remaining connected to the breath here. Taking deep inhales and deep exhales. Maybe seeing if you can elongate the breath here. Making each breath longer than the last. And the ribs expand on the inhales. And release on the exhale. When you're ready, we take a deep inhale. And exhale, side out. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, side out. One more deep inhale. And then the exhale, guide that left knee back into the center. Drawing that right knee up into the chest and taking a couple of breaths left and right. And when you're ready, we'll extend those legs out and down in front of us. So from here, we'll come into banana pose, bending at the knees, lifting the hips up and shifting the weight over towards the left side. We'll walk the feet down towards the right corner of the mat here. Just taking a couple of moments here to allow the body to adjust to the pose, to settle into it, making sure both hips are down and squared off on the mat. And when you're ready, we'll lift the head and shoulders, bringing the arms up above us, and bringing the head, shoulders, and arms over towards the right top corner here. You can stay right here, or you can grab onto opposite elbows. You can extend that left arm up and bring the right arm down by the side. Just finding whatever feels best for you. And just like the hips, we want to make sure both of the shoulders are squared off. Both are lying flat down on the mat. And just begin to take a moment to notice how your body's feeling. Noticing where there's tension. And seeing if you can use the breath to send that tension away, to release or let go of it. And soften and deepen into the pose.
take a deep inhale here. And exhale, side it out. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, side it out. One more deep inhale. And exhale, side out. Slowly releasing, coming back into the center, walking the feet back into the center, bringing the arms down. We'll bend at the knees and just take a couple of windshield wipers left and right. You can also draw the knees into the chest if that feels good for you. And when you're ready, you can take it over to the other side, planting the feet down, lifting the hips up and over towards the right side this time, and walking the feet down towards the left. Again, we'll shift to make sure both hips are down on the mat. Just taking a couple moments to allow the body to adjust, settle into this pose. And when you're ready, we'll extend the arms above us, lifting the head and shoulders over towards the left side. Taking whichever option you took on the opposite side, whether it's leaving the arms extended above us, grabbing opposite elbows, or leaving the right arm extended and bringing the left arm down. Remaining connected to the breath here. Filling the expansion through the right side this time. When you're ready, we'll take a deep inhale. And exhale, side out. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, side out. One more deep inhale. And exhale, slowly release. Coming back into the center, shifting the hips back, walking the feet in. Okay, we'll bend at the knees, taking a couple of windshield wipers left and right here. From here, we'll draw the knees into the chest. And you can take it either to the left or the right side, whichever you like, and bring the knees all the way down to the ground. We'll come into a fetal position. You can rest the head either on a bicep, you can grab a block. We'll just find a rounding through the spine here. 
pressing the heart away from the body. Tucking the chin in, drawing the knees up. Turn around and through the spine. Just noticing if we can relax a little bit more. Release and let go of tension. Softening the shoulders. Perhaps softening the jaw. Retaking the tongue away from the roof of the mouth. See if you can release just that little bit more. Take a deep inhale here. And exhale, sigh it out. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, sigh it out. One more deep inhale. And exhale, sigh it out. When you're ready, we'll slowly come up. Meeting in our tabletop position here. Bringing our knees underneath the hips, the hands underneath the shoulders. From here, we'll take our cat cow. So we'll drop the belly down, lift the eye gaze up. We allow the shoulders to come away from the ears a little bit more. And we allow the curl pressing the earth away. Feeling the shoulder blades open up. Exhale around and curl press the earth away. And around and curl. Tucking the chin into the chest, drawing the belly to the skull. And one more time. Drop the belly down, lift the eyes up. And around the comb, press away. From here, we'll come into a neutral tabletop. This time, walking the hands over towards the right side. Bring the eye gaze towards the back of the mat or towards the feet. To amplify, you can press a little bit more to the left side and to the left hand. Making sure the hips stay over the knees here. Continuing to breathe deeply. Noticing where you can soften a little bit more, maybe in the shoulders, maybe through the feet, maybe in the elbows, finding a gentle bend. We'll take a deep inhale. Exhale, side out. Deep inhale. Exhale, side out. One more time, deep inhale. And exhale, release, slowly walking the hands back to center. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders again. And then we'll take it over towards the left side, walking the hands over. Bring the eye gaze back. 
I will get these, go to the back of the mat, and go back to the room. You're going to amplify, you can press into that right hand a little bit more. Find a deeper stretch along the right side. Again, staying connected to the breath here. Making sure the hips are in line with the knees. And then finding a soft bend through the elbows. We should take a deep inhale. And exhale, sigh it out. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, sigh it out. And one more time, deep inhale. And on the exhale, slowly walk it back into the center, bringing the hands underneath the shoulders here. And here we'll just take a couple of dancing lines, moving the hips around in a circle. Three times clockwise and three times counterclockwise. It's always moving slowly and mindfully, filling the body. When you're ready, we'll come into our puppy pose, keeping the knees and the hips right where they're at, and slowly walking the hands forward, bringing the chest down towards the mat, bringing the chin as close to the mat as you can, bringing the eyes through the arms. If it's too much on the cervical spine, you can always place the full head down. And you'll still see the benefits of the backward bend here, the opening up through the shoulders. Continuing to take deep breaths here, focusing on the breath, moving through the uncomfortable, Seeing if you can soften the body, melting the heart down towards the mat. Seeing and noticing where you can soften a little bit more. Noticing if you're holding any tension in the shoulders, in the hips. And seeing if you can release a little bit more. We'll take a deep inhale here. Exhale, sigh it out. See if you can bring the chest down a little bit lower. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, sigh it out. One more deep inhale. 
And then we exhale, shift the weight forward, bring the chest through, dropping the knees down, and the thighs down as we come into our sphinx pose. You can walk the elbows out in front just a little bit if you'd like. We'll stay here for a few moments if you'd like. At about the two minute mark, you can come into seal pose, extending the arms out in front of us. So you can stay right here for the full three minutes. Here you can keep the neck long, or you can allow the head to come down. Taking the shoulders away from the ears, bringing the forehead closer to the mat, tucking the chin in a little bit. Here, if you'd like, you can extend those arms out, pressing up, coming into a full seal pose. You can have a bolster if you bring the bolster to the tip of the ribs for added support here. If this feels like too much compression in the low back, you can simply come back down into seat pose. Here you want to keep the neck long, finding that full extension of the spine here. In some way you can relax and let go. Releasing the tailbone, the thighs, the hips, the low back, maybe the shoulders away from the ears a little bit more. You take a deep inhale and exhale, sign out. Take a deep inhale and exhale, sigh it out. One more deep inhale and exhale slowly lower. From here, we'll press and come back into our child's pose, bringing the knees together, the toes together and allowing the hips to come down and back towards the heels. From here, we bring our forehead down onto the mat and allow the arms to come down and back by the side. To find a nice rounding through the spine. This is a really nice counter pose for your back bend. Really seeing if you can feel each vertebrae opening up, feeling the heart opening up towards the sky. Really softening, allow the body to relax into the bones. Allowing that low back to release from that go.
Taking a moment to notice where your mind is at right now. Noticing if it's within the body or if it's gone to outside thoughts. Whether it's past or future. Just noticing where your mind is at. And see if you can use the breath to bring it back to the present moment. And then we'll take a deep inhale and exhale, sigh it out. Standing your hands out in front of us, slowly rising up one vertebrae at a time. So from here, we'll extend our legs out in front of us. We come into caterpillar pose or a forward fold. We want to make sure our hips are not tilting in. You need to you can always grab a block or something to sit up on. And then I'll just help elongate the spine here. We'll inhale, bring our hands up, elongating that spine, and exhale, folding forward. If you have any low back issues, I always recommend keeping the flank, the spine flat. If not, you can always round and curl over. Just releasing and letting go, allowing the head to hang here. With each inhale, we try and find extension and length through the spine. And with each exhale, we release and allow our bodies to go a little bit deeper. Deep inhale. 
exhale, see if you can release a little bit more. Deep inhale. And exhale, release and let go. One more deep inhale. Exhale, release. See so you next inhale, slowly roll it up. One vertebrae at a time. So from here, we're going to come into a seated spinal twist. We're going to bring our left foot by our left hip, bringing the top of the foot down onto the mat. So you can keep the right foot down on the ground if you'd like by the left thigh or you can bring it on top of the thigh or all the way up into the hip crease. When you're ready, we'll inhale, bring those arms up, and exhale, twist over towards the right, bringing the left hand down onto the right knee, and bringing the right hand behind the low back. We want to avoid any rounding and really press the chest through, rolling that right shoulder down and back. And slightly arching the spine here. Bring the eye gaze behind the right shoulder. Then Staying connected to the breath here. Sending the breath all the way down into the belly. Filling the expansion through the belly, through the ribs, through the chest, and then finally releasing on the exhale. And if you can soften and let go just a little bit more. And when you're ready, let's take a deep inhale. And exhale, sigh it out. One more deep inhale. And on the exhale, slowly twist and release, bringing the right foot down, bringing both feet out in front of us, and just shaking the legs out a little bit here. You can also bend at the knees, taking a couple windshield wipers left and right. And we'll take it to the other side, bringing the top of the right foot down by the right hip. And then bringing that left foot either down by the thigh, up on top of the thigh, doing our best to avoid the knee, or all the way into the hip crease. When you're ready, we'll lift the hands up towards the sky. Finding that nice long extension through the spine. And exhale, bring that right hand to the left knee. The left hand comes behind the low back. Again, avoiding any rounding here, really pressing through the chest. Rolling the shoulders down and away. And bringing the eye gaze past the shoulder or even just towards the left side. So connected to the breath here, filling the belly rise and fall with each inhale and each exhale.
See if you can relax and release a little bit more. We'll take a deep inhale. And exhale, side out. Deep inhale. And exhale, slowly and twist, releasing the left foot out in front of us, releasing the right foot. And gently shake the legs out here. Well, from here, we'll come into our final Shavasana. We'll have a couple of options. You can take your regular Shavasana with the legs out in front of us and just laying down flat. You can bring a bolster or a pillow up against the hips and just laying down flat on the bolster, finding that opening up to the chest here. So we take a supported fish pose. You can also bring the soles of the feet together in butterfly if you'd like. If you have blocks, you can place blocks underneath each knee. You can also take a Pillow or a bolster underneath your knees. And really just finding a comfortable position here. And then begin to settle into the pose here. Coming back to the breath. So you take these last few minutes for our final meditation. Here you don't have to do anything. You don't have to try to clear the mind or stop the thoughts. You don't have to control the breath. Just give yourself permission to be still. To find a moment of stillness to begin to observe the body, observe the thoughts, without trying to change anything. Maybe coming back to the intention we set at the beginning of class. Just giving yourself permission to be still, to continue to release and let go, to surrender, to surrender to the pose, to the breath, to the meditation, allowing your body to soften begin to melt down. Becoming one with the earth. And noticing how your body feels now. Noticing how it feels to release tension. Noticing the parts that feel relaxed. And noticing that relaxation spread throughout the entire body.
Noticing the energies balancing out. Noticing the peace that fills your body. And when you're ready, slowly begin to come back into the body. Come back into the room. Begin to wiggle the fingers and the toes. So maybe finding any other movement that feels good. Simply rocking the head left and right. Maybe drawing the knees into the chest again. And just circling the knees around. So we can bring this energy back into the body. When you're ready, slowly turning onto the side and gently sitting up. Again, moving slowly. We come to the end of our practice. And as always, it's an honor to guide and hold space with you. Thank you for showing up for yourself, for taking this time for yourself. And this time with every ounce of love and gratitude within my heart. May you always remember that you are loved and you are worthy of being loved. The light in me sees the light in you. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you. Awesome. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Well, until next time. <laughs> yeah, until next time. Hopefully in a couple Ooh. weeks. <laughs> yeah. We'll have safe travels. Thank you. Have a and, good uh, rest of your time. Yeah, and, you too. And, and then uh, we'll see you music. soon. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy it out there. Thank okay, you. we'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Thank you.